Yo, the sleep! Yo, they got a sniper. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Nothing But Skills, and today we're gonna to be talking about two things you might be doing wrong with your build that could be setting you back from dropping people, from getting KOs, and from being as good as you guys can really be. So let's get right into it. So if you notice, my build right now is stacked firearms. I'm at 455,000 firepower, and skill power is at 123,000. So really that firearms is 9,682 and electronics is 2,959. So those are the two numbers we're really going to keep an eye on as we manipulate this build. So first thing you're going to notice is my lightweight M4 is at 28.1K. And you're like, all right, that's pretty good damage. He must be melting players. But the truth is, you're really not. And the reason why is my booster shot is only at 73,000. So if I try to get into a battle with this and someone's hitting me, even with a vigorous chest piece and a refresh mass, they are going to drop me. I may hit them hard enough to get their life down, but if they get an overdose heal, I'm pretty much screwed because 73,000 health points is not going to do anything. Now, yes, maybe I could run the overdose, but at 122,000 self heal for an overdose, that is still really low. Just don't really recommend it you have no survivability so let's get into some changes you can do to your build that you don't need to have a lot of firearms and you still are melting players so the first change i'm going to do is i'm going to switch the firearms mask to electronics mask and we're running the same mod that i have on both so i'm running firearm mods with skill haste on both of them i'm just going from firearms to electronics so that's already going to put me at 8,627 firearms, electronics 4,019. So if you notice, my base damage on lightweight and 4 dropped down to 26.5k. But my booster shot now is at 94,000, which is still pretty low. Like I'm telling you guys, I, want, I would like to see your booster shot be around 130. Your overdose is around 157. So you technically could run with this build, but... You wouldn't be able to use booster shot. You'd have to stick with overdose. So you're pretty much stuck at 26.5K. And you could just hit a little bit harder doing a couple more changes. So the next change we're gonna do is we're gonna switch the vigorous chest piece firearms to electronics one. So let's put that on. So now we're at 7,563 firearms, electronics 5,084. So this is what I would recommend the maximum firearms you run around 7,500 and electronics, the minimum you run is around 5,000. The reason why is your base damage on your M4 is probably going to be around 24,000, 25,000. And then you can still run a pretty good overdose, which is 192. And if you really wanted to, you could run a booster shot, but 115,000 is still low for me. I just feel like the survivability is isn't there but some guys try to run it you might be able to melt a player but if you get into a group of two players you're definitely not melting them so just depends on what you're looking for so we're going to do one more change so we went from all firearms and now we're to two electronics and we're going to switch the last piece to electronics so the only difference with this build is i'm not going to run a firearm mod i'm going to run electronics skill haste but what i'll do is i'll i'll show you what it looks like with the firearm mod too so now we're at firearms of 6500 and electronics at 6146 my base 
damage on my light weight for is only 23.3k so now we're where I like to play my booster shots can hit heal me for 136,000 health points plus I'll get defense off this my overdose is 227,000 which is that's why I'm telling you, if you want to run overdose and you don't run around want to run booster shot then you can run 7500 firearms but if you want to run booster shot get a little bit more damage get a little bit more health then I would recommend running this because look if I pop my booster shot right now I'm back I'm 0.2k higher damage than I was when I was running 93,000 firearms so you can see this is almost 3,000 firearms less, but I'm running the same base damage on my lightweight M4. So that's why I'm telling you the survivability is key here because I'm healing for 136,000 now, not that 74,000 that I was healing for before. So you can see the big difference that you'll get in running this build. My overdose is at 227,000. So that's what I was telling you guys. If you guys want to be okay with just staying at a base damage and not having that extra booster shot that i'm going to have from popping this and being just where i was at 0.2k higher than running firearms that is the big difference and that's probably what you guys are doing wrong with your build of course i like to have just a little bit more heal on my booster shot because i do run booster shots so this is at 136 i'm going to put that electronics mod on here with skill haste So now I'm at 27.8K, so I'm 0.5K damage less than what I was with the 9,600 firearms. But as you can see, my overdose is going to heal me for now 141,000. So you could actually run the firearm mods with skill haste and sacrifice the 6K health points. It just depends on what you want. And the cooldown is only 24 seconds on both my booster shot, my scrambler, and then a lot of times I do run my immune station, and that's at 17 seconds. And when I explode that, that gives me health. So that's where you can get in a little bit more of your health. So if I did want to run the booster shot, the immune station, with that extra little bit of damage, I could. So that's the end of the video, guys. I hope this has been helpful to you guys. Remember, if you guys have any questions, use the comment section down below and if this is the first time to hear my channel hit the subscribe button hit the like button it helps out my channel the support i've been getting from all of you guys has been amazing and remember if you guys ever need any help in the dark zone last stand and i'm free i may be able to play with you guys but remember i run with groups a lot sometimes i just want to run solo because i'm filming but hey i'm just here to help you guys i'm help to make you guys better make the dark zone a little bit more even place i'll see you guys in the next video remember hit the subscribe button hit the like button Nothing but skills is out, guys. Why are you running, bro?